Um, so, I don't know whether Kinross High School has uh, drawn the long straw or the short straw by being first, uh, but let me just tell you who their six strong team is. We've got Laurie Wilson, Susan Galloway, Sarah Gurdy, Mike Robertson, Cameron Wilson and Becca Malcolm. And I think the two that are going to take the gauntlet up on the stage are Cameron and Becca. So I think you give them a warm welcome. The future's Scotland and the future's phenomenal. My name is Cameron Wilson, this is Becca Malcolm and we are here today representing Kinross High School. When we first heard the brief from Events Scotland, we were slightly daunted at the task that lay ahead of us, but quickly realised the opportunities that this held. We could see the work that had already been put into Homecoming Scotland and felt very privileged that Kinross, along with the other two schools, had been asked to represent the young people in Scotland to answer the question, what can young people create to promote Homecoming Scotland 2009? It really got us thinking, what could we, as young Scots do, to promote this event for young people and their families? So, we put our heads together and came up with the alternative Homecoming Scotland. Why the alternative Homecoming Scotland? After careful consideration, we conducted some market research into what the general public knew or thought of the Homecoming Scotland website. The survey asked pupils and teachers what they already knew and how they rated the website. Out of 980 pupils and teachers, it became apparent that not many knew what Homecoming Scotland was really about or the ones that did were from the teacher group. When asked to comment on the Homecoming Scotland website, the feedback was mixed. Here are a few of the comments given. So our research brought us to a conclusion that while the Home Homecoming Scotland website is very good, unfortunately it failed to capture the attention of the young people surveyed. With this in mind, we felt that to come up with an idea that could run alongside and complement Homecoming Scotland, capturing the attention and interest of young people was the way to go. A new name seemed the obvious start. As our aim was to complement Homecoming Scotland, we felt to simply add the word alternative to Homecoming Scotland would instantly intrigue people of our age to take notice and encourage them to find out more. And we will show you how we intend to do this a little later on. What is the big idea? Quite simply, the big idea is communication, advertising, and shared experiences via the most common fastest and most cost-effective means of communication available today, the internet. So, Why a website? Why is this a good idea? For a vast number of young people today, the internet is one of the main communication channels available. Websites are great resources for all ages to find out more information at the click of a mouse, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So why not take this further, we thought. As there is already a Homecoming Scotland website, it seemed obvious that we could create a website to complement the Homecoming Scotland website, but tailor it to suit a younger audience. This is why we have created the alternative Homecoming Scotland website. The Alternative Homecoming Scotland website will work with the Homecoming Scotland site but will also attract hits from the young visiting the Homecoming Scotland site. Not only will it direct traffic to the Homecoming Scotland site, it will offer a unique service so that young people will be able to communicate with each other regardless of where they are. It will aim to allow young people to share their experiences at attending some of the 120 great events on offer. As you can see, we have created this site to appeal to your target audience 
and here is where they will be able to upload their pictures of their experiences and share their memories. They will also be able to vote on what they feel are the most popular rated events throughout the year. This idea can, be, can further utilise the wealth of Scottish talent that we have produced since the birth of Robert Burns. With their ability to draw attention from the media and inspire the youth of today, the idea would be to get them, the celebrities to endorse certain key events over the year and to post comment on the site of their experiences of attending that event. For instance, Colin Montgomery could endorse the Open Championship that would be held at Turnbury next year. As a means of enticing people to the site, we would run monthly competitions where the entrants would be able to win a ticket or a reduction for a group of tickets, i.e. buy free, get one free, to encourage young people to go to an event. Keeping with the Scottish theme, the monthly quizzes would be raced, based around how Scottish do you think you are? These are only some of our ideas for the website, and we have created a mood board which captures our thoughts and ideas on how the site will take shape. But how do we get people to know about the site? If you would now like to reach underneath your seats, and you'll find a small card with our website and Bebo details on it. start, we propose that these cars be posted out to all schools in Scotland. They have been designed in the way to highlight Scotland and give specific information as to what we represent. For a start, we also have at least 200 people here today who are going to check this out when they go home today, as in you guys. Yes, the sites are live. The cars also fit nicely into your wallets and purses. But will, will all this work? How can we be confident that young people will visit this site and actually go to an event? We will need to explore, well, we need to explore what exactly the internet offers our generation. This can all be summed up in one word, Bebo. Bebo is one of the most popular sites utilized by young people today and the age range is increasing. But we are suggesting, it is, but what we are suggesting is that in order to ensure that the maximum amount of young people are being directed to the Homecoming Scotland and alternative Homecoming Scotland sites, is to direct traffic to them via our alternative Homecoming Scotland Bebo site that has already attracted over 100 hits in only three days of being live. We are already receiving comments asking us what Homecoming Scotland is all about, which in itself demonstrates how simple it is to catch the attention of young people. And it costs virtually nothing, only time and effort. But is this enough? We feel that the alternative Homecoming Scotland website and Bebo sites give a breadth and a depth to the original question, what can young people create? But we don't want to leave anything to chance. Yes, we have the sites, yes, we have the promotional cards, and yes, we are unique, but we have more. Once people start to visit the sites and see what it offers them in terms of e events offered, the monthly competitions and the ability to upload their own experiences we feel it is important to offer something to the, to the user in return for their first and hopefully their continued visits. This would be by the means of podcasts and downloads. People accessing the site would be offered incentives to purchase tickets online as they would receive a free music download from a Scottish artist or perhaps a recipe from Gordon Ramsay or even Ma Brun. The possibilities here are endless and therefore we have prepared a mood board with our thoughts and ideas. So. Thank you very much for listening to our pitch today. We have, we have thoroughly enjoyed the challenge that was presented to us and it has been a truly phenomenal experience for us to be able to work with the team at Event Scotland, Kevin and Eugenine from Space Unlimited, Diane and Charlotte from Denver Networks, and Rob from B no, Denver Marketing and Rob from BD Networks. <laughs>